Now in your layer menu, what I would do is with inking, duplicate out inking. I am gonna label this one brushes. And then basically you want to lock out and then hide your inking layer. And then we are basically ready to go. Now what I'm gonna be using today is our cartoon brushes tinted. If you go back into the resource folder, again, jasonseacross.com, you should have already been there to get the anchor point guide for the monkey. And what we are gonna do is a little brushes 101. So brushes 101, let's just kind of go through it. So in case you guys wanna speed through this part, this is what we're looking for. Anytime you see a stroke or a line and the edge is floating out in space, that is where you want it to taper. Next, anytime lines merge, there's a bunch of lines hitting each other, that is where it's gonna get fat. So it should make your life very, very easy if you wanna speed through it, is I just want to have it tapered, get nice and fat. Our magic number is gonna be right around the th three for the stroke weight. You can obviously add that up. And whenever we are doing these strokes, the idea is line variation. So you want some things thick, so you want some things thin, you want some things to taper, and I just think it makes it more interesting. Now this is gonna get nice and fat up over by the nose, and then it's tapering over here. Select a brush. If it's not going in the direction you want, just flip it back. I'm gonna go three, maybe that's four. Now notice, let's just zoom in. I can add in the thicknesses on these and we can also just see if that's going to do it, but there's gonna be this little corner. So whenever we start adding on thicknesses, just pay attention to where things are merging and hitting because you wanna kinda of take these little corners and you're gonna see there is a thought process on why we have all of this overlapping and that is so we can take these little edges and we can just tuck them right on in to the stroke. So if it looks a little funny right now, just be aware that the next little step that we are gonna do is going to be erasing all of our overlap lines. But right now we wanna make sure that everything is just tucking in. If you see lines overlapping like that, that's okay. So this is all gonna get erased. But if it's floating out in space, that just causes a little bit more of a issue. It's, it is literally 10 seconds worth of work. So it's not that big of a deal. I don't want you to think that life is over if you have a little thing. All right, good, good, good. Taper, taper. One, two, three. I am just gonna do one, two, three, four on that one. I'm gonna go Shift X, Shift X, Shift X. I'm holding down Shift, by the way, as we do our little whites. Let's go two. Again, I wanna just tuck, tuck that in right there. Good. So that is gonna go fat. Let's go one, two, that looks good. These are all gonna be tapered. Now, if you see a line that is touching on both ends, we do have a fat skinny and then fat on the other end. Good, I'm gonna do fat on one end and then taper, one, two, three. And since that one's a little bit fat, I do want there to be a little bit of a separation. So once we add in all of the thicknesses, you can always modify those lines. So just be aware that we can move them once we can see where the final line is looking. Oh, let's... I just want to take that little top, plop it right on in there. I did add in a, this is the back of the tongue, so I did add that in. Good. This is all going to get filled in black, just so you're aware. So sometimes, if you already know where it's going, and if you're ever on jasonsecrets.com, you can kind of see where the final is going. So that is a good idea to just kind of keep peeking at it. Let's select these up. Let's do the little eyebrows. I'm going to go Shift X. I'm going to go Effect. I'm gonna go round corners, and it's just gonna kind of taper them a tiny bit. So I have radius of 0.139. Those are in inches. As long as you're on the five by five format, it will basically play out the exact same way. Okay, let's zoom out, zoom, zoom, zoom. This is all gonna get filled in, so I'm gonna ignore that one. And then this one, this is all gonna get silhouetted out on this side. I'm gonna grab both of these guys. So these are gonna go fat and then taper. And these are gonna get really fat. And then we're gonna just hide these guys in. And what these are gonna look like, at least the idea is, is there, it's almost like a little monkey sideburn. What I basically did is there's gonna be two strokes. I joined them right here. And then I took this edge that was basically hanging up here and I just shoved it right into the cheek. So now this stroke goes all the way around. And then I want that to go fat. 
I'm going to test it out fat first. I am okay with that. Now what I'm going to actually do on this side is we're going to bring in another little stroke. We're going to basically duplicate it. So this is going to get fatter here. So it's going to go fat. It's going to get a little bit fatter in the jowl. And then it's going to come over here. And this is all going to get, get that nice and fat. And what I'm looking for is this outside edge on this little burn. Just to kind of mimic that outside shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I almost want to just hide it right into the ear. Like his sideburns are coming out of his ear. I'm just going to hide our little menu. Now this is the layer that you want to save, save, save. So this is the one that we are pretty much, we've done a bunch of work to get here. Everything is still in stroke format. So if you notice anything when we are coloring or you just don't like how things are expanding, you can always come back and it is much easier to just to move an anchor point than anything else. So I will say duplicate this guy. That is the one you want. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take magic wand, I'm gonna go black. All I wanna make sure is that our nice little guy is not being expanded. So that little hidden one, if you drew it, we do not want that one to be expanded. Expand once, I'm gonna expand twice, good. Now for all of you that have been freaking out about all of this overlapping, that is what we are gonna clean up at this point in time. So it's just zoom, 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 and we're using basically two tools. I'm gonna go black arrow, Shift E, Shift E is just our eraser and I can modify that size with our nice little bracket keys. Bracket keys are next to the P key and all we are looking for is any little edge that I think is floating over. I'm just gonna basically hide it within the stroke that I want. Now, some of you might say, well, why in the world are we doing all this? Now, if you've ever tried to do Pathfinder and try and match everything perfectly, you're gonna go, oh yeah, that makes way more sense. So this process is so silly and dumb. I used to call it brain dead to my kids because you can just zone out and then just erase. So any of these little things we can just get rid of. And then also if you've ever tried to take our brushes and line up this edge exactly to match, you're gonna notice that you basically have to do the entire thing over again. So there is so much more work just to line everything back up while it is in stroke form. If you just want to match up our brush edges, it'll take you probably five minutes to realize that, oh yeah, this is easier. So there's a couple people that always want to play devil's advocate. Why are we doing things this way? Well, it's just an easy way of doing it for beginners. Good, we'll just clean up that line. So this is all, keep in mind, we've got our nice little line in here so that's all going to get hidden so i'm just hiding it in there this is all going to get united right after this so it really does not matter how ugly the inside of this edge so if you're hiding that edge it could be ugly 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 i'm just double checking so just notice too if you're having any issues with the eraser tool just double check that you have selected it first so notice that i select the Stroke, then I come in. Also notice that I'm pretty well zoomed in. That's all I'm gonna get silhouetted out. All right, so what I will do is I'm gonna take this black, and if you wanna keep this one, if you wanna duplicate it out, that is fine, but I'm basically grabbing the black magic wand, black. I am going to unite them, get ready. I am going to arrange and then send them back, and then we're gonna get our nice little whites of the eyes back. We still have our nice little guy, good. So I'm gonna grab everything. We are now moving into live paint and I might just duplicate this out. Why not? Grab everything, object live paint. Good, I'm gonna click on K and now we start to fill in our darks. There's gonna be that little guy right there and I think we're pretty well good with blacks. I don't see anything else. So what I wanna do is basically come in and I'm just gonna do a gray. Let's just go face color, light gray, light gray. We are gonna modify all of these colors in the next step. Face color, face color. But just so you can see where we're going with this. All right, looking good. So we're gonna modify these in the next video. I'm gonna go object, expand, hit okay. Let's just go ungroup. I'm gonna basically, just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm right clicking, ungrouping, I'm coming over, I am deselecting. So just as you are doing this, our goal is to get them separated, but just pay attention to that you're not moving. And a lot of times you move it very, very subtly, 
and then you get these little faint ghost edges. All right, so what I would do at this point is I'm gonna grab the black, I'm going to double click, I'm gonna drop that down to five, by the way. Let's just unite our black. All right, looking good. So what we're gonna do, file save. Let's move on to the next tutorial.